What is going on, guys? Zach here from premiumbeat.com, and today I'm actually so pumped because I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite techniques to do in editing. Isn't that crazy? Isn't it crazy that I get really excited about that? That's like a little sad that I don't really have any other like things that really get me excited. I mean, yeah, I should probably start doing other th things. Digital scale-ins, push-ins, zoom-ins, Ken Burns, whatever you want to call them, um, but how to do them properly in your video montages. So without further ado, let's go into our editing sequence. I'm just going to stop talking here. Okay, so open up your timeline, drag and drop your shots that you want to do a montage sequence to. I have these four shots here. So if you watch them play out, they seem pretty cool. I mean, it's they play out pretty well, but there's no energy to them. Uh, they kind of play out almost random. So what I'm actually gonna do is implement digital zooms or scale in to make the shots flow a little bit better. So I'm gonna choose this shot right here. What I'm gonna do is open up the effects panel and take a look at its scale. So right now it's set to 100%. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is at the beginning, I'm gonna create a keyframe marker, the very beginning of the clip, and then I'm gonna go to the very end and scale it in to about 105. Now, depending on the length of the clip, if it's a short clip, you wanna just do like 100 to 102. If it's something a little bit longer, you go up to like 105. And here's what's something that looks like if you scale it right up to 120. It really depends on the length of the clip and how intense you want the scale in. So if we see here, they play a little bit better, they flow nicely, but they're not 100%. So what's something fun you can do is actually do a series of scale in so that they kind of flow better. We're gonna copy this one shot, so Control C. Then basically what we're gonna do is highlight these shots, right click it. What we're gonna do is go into paste attributes and paste in the motion. So now if we play them out, they're all gonna have that scale in. Now, depending on the length of the clip, you're probably gonna have to play around with the scale in and adjust that scale for the end of the clip. Because if a shot goes a little bit longer than the other, you're gonna get like this weird half zoom in and it's gonna stop. So make sure it plays out for the whole shot and here's the sequence. So as you can tell now, it kind of flows a little bit better, but you don't want that to happen too often. So maybe even play around with it, have like a static shot filled in there and then a couple scale ends and randomize it. And there's a bunch of different things you can do. You can even do scale outs to give your shot some motion. And finally, talking about like quick scale ends and quick scale outs really applies well with something like a time lapse. So if I do a series of shots like this and then I put a time lapse in, but it feels a little static and I wanna break up the two scenes, what I'll do is a crazy zoom in to really get the audience almost out of it and then bring them back in with a slow scale in, like something like this. So again, I highly recommend playing around with your digital zooms, scales, Ken Burns, because it can really beef up a scene and take it to the next level. And it's actually one of my favorite editing secrets to make my montages more interesting. One thing I'd recommend is don't do it to all of your shots. And um, just like a little secret between you and I, I actually shoot a lot of my stuff in 1080 and still do scale-ins. If it's really quick and fast, your audience isn't really gonna be like, oh, I don't, I, uh, what is going on here? In my perspective, if you have a boring shot, but you want to keep it you want to keep it your 1080 because you're too afraid to lose your resolution. I don't think that's really worth it. I think it's more worth to do a scale and keep your audience interested and if it goes down a bit in resolution cares. Anyway guys, that was like one of my favorite techniques um, to do for editing. Uh, if you like this tutorial and want to take a look at more, take a look at the rest of the Premium Beat YouTube channel. Give us a subscribe. Give us your support. You're loving. I want to see you more. I want you to see me more. Let's get this relationship going. Give this video a like. Write a comment or question or concern about it. If you have any ideas for future episodes, I'd love to hear about it in the description below. And uh, yeah, I'm going to keep playing around with these effects and try it out for your own because it's really fun to and enhance your visuals. Anyway, I'm going to see you guys later. Keep making great stuff, and I'll see you in another video.